So I was thinking, what is the best sniping experience in the Battlefield franchise? Usually I would say Battlefield 4, but sniping with iron sights in Battlefield 1 was so awesome and so satisfying that I had to come back and make a video about it. So what we have here in today's video, we are playing as the scout class obviously, and we start off with the Lawrence of Arabia SMLE, pretty sure this is a pre-order exclusive as you can see it has that beautiful skin. And we're also going to try out some other sniper rifles while only using the iron sights like the Ross Mark III and maybe even the Martini Henry. The Martini Henry should be a lot of fun and I'm not going to stop playing until we have at least one collateral. Okay, so Amiens is our first map. Obviously, we're going to play with iron sights only, only bolt action rifles like I said. Hopefully, we can break this maybe. Oh, he has the same idea as me. A little bit overkill in my opinion. He actually killed himself. He actually killed himself trying to do what he wanted to do. But that leaves me with a nice vantage point. So we'll take it. There we go. That's our first kill. Oh, by the way, I'm not, I'm try, I'm gonna try my best not to say there we go every single kill. There we go. Oh, that's the second time I said it. I'm sorry. We got a gas grenade kill. A second gas grenade kill. We keep getting hit markers. This is not an honorable way to get kills to be honest, but uh, I'll take it anyway. Finally, a normal kill. That was, that was a collateral hit, but not a collateral kill. I got 190 damage. Finally, we got the last guy. 500 kills with the SMLE Mark III. I didn't even know I got 500 kills, but well, there you go. That's what you get with spotting, you can shoot people through the smoke. So many people there. Come on, more people. There we go. That's a headshot. Oh, I love Battlefield 1. I know during my time as a YouTuber, during Battlefield 1's life cycle, I've I've gave it a lot of crap, honestly, but now coming back to Battlefield 1 after Battlefield 5, I'm sorry, it's actually a lot of fun. It's so solid, like, this game, this game is so solid. Did I mention this game is solid? There we go. I'm gonna move up a little bit, this is a little bit boring. No! Well, we finished off the first guy pretty well. Next gun, we're gonna use the Martini Henry. Hopefully we get some nice one-shot kills. Ooh, he just got away. There's another guy right there. Come on, reload. Missed the easiest shot of my life. 99 hit. Come on. Can you please finish him off? Thank you. I'm not having the best of luck with the uh, one-shot kill potentials in this game. 94. Somebody please finish him off. There we go, nice flank. Oh no! There was a nice pre-fire. Oh, I like that one. Crazy armored truck right there. Crazy one-shot kill with the Martini Henry. Oh, that's a nice kill. As he was trying to get in the tank. What the? Get out of here. Stop bayonet charging, bro. Okay, so for this map, we're gonna try the, the LaBelle model 1886 infantry. I think that's a pretty good map, and I love the iron sights with this rifle, so let's give it a try. Stand still. Can I hit them once, please? There we go, finally. And now you two, please stand still. Thank you. There's another one over there. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna get on this roof and snipe everybody. Yep, that's a collateral. I'll take it, finally. At least we got a one collateral in this video. I don't know what he was doing. Ooh, that's a one-shot kill. Okay, now I know the sweet spot for this rifle. It should be a one-shot kill. It is, nice. He just kept aiming and he didn't shoot for some reason. Really? 
We didn't get the kill? Actually, I think the Ross Mark III Infantry is a really good choice for this map. Any more? Yep, they're behind me. Okay, let's get on top of this roof right here. I think we're gonna get demolished from behind. That sounds really wrong. What was he doing? Oh yeah, this is amazing. Okay, target rich environment, let's go. Oh, not anymore, I see. Where did they all go? Ross Mark 3 is amazing. Oh, wow. I knew that would happen, but I still went there. Why did I do that? I think I know what I'm going to do. Are you guys ready for the ultimate flank? Okay, behind the dune so they won't see us. Okay, we messed that up a little bit, but we're not done yet. Okay, he's dead. Let's move on, let's move on. We're gonna go out of the combat area for just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. More people. Come on, more people. There we go. Let's keep it going. Oh my god, what are the chances that we cross path? Oh my god. It was a nice flank though, let's keep it, let's try it again. Okay, flank number two, with our trusty iron sights. Oh, come on. How is that a miss? What is this guy? Ooh, get owned, bro. Iron sights versus a scope. Yeah, there's another one. Just aiming at me. Come on. Oh my god, that headshot from that range with an iron sight. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. What do you think you can do? Here's that cavalry unit again. Just. What are you doing, man? Just. I'm not gonna give up. Nope. Oh, that's a different cavalry unit. Well, I guess I cocked myself there. Time for a different sniper. We're gonna use the Mosin Nagant M38 Carbine. Never played with this gun before. This is one of the pre-order. If you if you pre-order Battlefield 5, you would get this gun in Battlefield 1. And I never played with it, so let's see if it's actually good. Awesome start. Come on, are you kidding me? I can already tell I don't like the uh, Mosinagant carving. Uh, come on, give me a break. Come on. Oh no, what happened? Fell to death? Are you kidding me? That's such a... It's such a stupid way to go. Oh, but we got revived. I like that. Come on, man, the, the freaking train. Stop shooting at me with the train. I think he knows we're in here. Yup, he knows. Later. Okay, so to finish the video, we're gonna play on Ballroom Blitz with the M1917 Enfield Infantry. But as you can see, we haven't unlocked it just yet. We need to have a couple more kills with the Ross Mark III Marksman. So we're gonna do just that and unlock the M1917 and play our final game. Come on.
I really don't know what I expected to happen, but at least we got the armored vehicle kill. Only four more kills. There we go, that's one. Three more. Two more. Ooh, that's a one-shot kill. One more kill, one more kill, and we unlock the rifle. There we go. The M1917 Enfield Infantry. So we're gonna choose that now, and we're gonna go on top of these roofs, because this is arguably the best spot in any map in Battlefield 1 to snipe from. So let's do that right now. Um, why are we not hitting him? There we go, finally. These iron sights are really bad in my opinion. I can't see... S that was a lucky shot, honestly. Why are we not hitting this guy? Finally, come on, more. So you know what, we're gonna redeploy. Now we have a different rifle, we have the Gewehr 98 Infantry. Very high bullet velocity, so we should make it work. And I don't, yeah, the, the iron sights are pretty decent as well. Ooh. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's a nice little kill. Oh, really? The fog is gonna set in? Oh, it's gonna fog up. This is no use now. We got a hit. I can't see anything. Okay, that's a headshot. I'll take it. We got him as well. There's a tank over there. I didn't see him because of my stupid iron sights. We're gonna finish it off like we started with the Lawrence of Arabia SMLE. Match is almost over. We need to get at least one more kill. Okay, that's our final kill. Okay, that's our final kill for sure. Well, there you have it. Best spot in the game is on top of these roofs on Ballroom Blitz. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really like to snipe in Battlefield 1 with Ironside. It just had that, you know, that World War 1 feeling that I really, really like. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and i see you guys next time. <laughs>